AI, who are the big players? This is going to go over the names and features of some of the most popular AI tools. The features and products are changing at a very rapid rate. Maybe the most widely known AI platform at the moment is ChatGPT. ChatGPT 3.5 is free, whereas the 4.0 version is a paid version. The free version only has info up to late 2021, but the paid version is now connected to the internet. Beyond creativity, ChatGPT can translate between languages, it can debug code and help you even plan something like a fun day in a city you've never been to. The listening, speaking, and visual interpretation and web browsing features are only available to the 4.0 paid version. Google responded to ChatGPT by creating its own AI, BARD, in early 2023. Google is positioning BARD as a helpful AI assistant, not a replacement for standard searching on Google. While questions remain, BARD aims to provide a more natural, conversational experience for users. Its strengths are its real-time information, it's connected to the internet, it's very user-friendly, and can use voice commands. Its limits are the bias, it does not provide sources, and it has inconsistence, inconsistencies in its responses. Bing is the AI tool from Microsoft. When you ask Bing a question, it provides a summary of the answer directly at the top of the search results. In other words, you do not need to go searching for the answer uh, to your question among pages of results. Bing aims to make the search experience much more fluid and personalized by using artificial intelligence. And it does not promote Microsoft products in its results. Lastly, uh, we have Anthropics Claude. Claude can retain long-term contextual information similar to a human's memory. This improves the chatbot's abilities to follow complex dialogues, allowing you to pick up the conversation where you left off. Another prominent feature is the 100,000 token limit. So if you want, you can give it an article and have it commented on and summarized. This feature is 8,000 tokens in ChatGPT. Anthropics also has carefully focused um, on training techniques to minimize incorrect or dangerous outputs. Claude and users chat, which is shaping the conversation through careful prompt engineering and multi-step follow-up questions. Its strengths are uh, accuracy and its safety, uh, which are its key focuses, and its limitations are that it can have misleading or biased content, and it has a limited, limited number of messages per day.